Welcome to Thoroughbred Action at Gulfstream Park. Brian Natto with you as we wrap up another huge weekend here in Hollandale Beach. Saturday was Holy Bull Day. We'll close it down with nine of them for you on Sunday. That Rainbow Six and race number four, that estimated pool, $225,000. Upstairs to track announcer Pete Aiello for your course and weather conditions. So the main track will start sloppy. The Tapita track stays fast and we are off the turf today. Off the turf on a sloppy main track, the Tapita track in use. Again, the Tapita track is always fast. There are no changes in the opener. Racing at Gulfstream. From the inside, taking it all, gets the first call and looks for the early advantage. Fumble Ruski has some speed. In between horses, the newcomer, My Wife Knows It All, and Queen Honesty mixing it up. They're almost four in line. Back from behind the speed, touched by quality, ahead of My Sweetheart Danny, and Enticement is last. They leave the backstretch and move on to the far turn. On the inside, Queen Honesty by a neck. My Wife Knows It All keeps the pressure on second. Off the speed, third is taking it all from Fumble Ruski, who's under a loose Paco Rain while racing in fourth. Followed fifth by Touch by Quality, then My Sweetheart Danny, and out the back is Enticement. They run to the top of the stretch. My wife knows it all on the outside. Queen Honesty toward the rail. They continue to spar. Trying to run home from the inside is touched by quality. Outside taking it all. Now we're an eighth of a mile from home. Jaramillo and my wife knows it all. Trying to hold off taking it all. Who runs at her on the outside? My wife all knows it all. Almost home. Taking it all on the outside. My wife knows it all. Just ask her. She's a length and a half in front. Taking it all with second from Queen Honesty third. Touched by quality fourth in 56 and two. Sharp start from the favorite fighter in the win, who's looking for the early advantage from the far outside. Ribbons and medals races on to be second. Lorenz comes away a joint third with the gray read on down toward the rail. These top four have gone four ahead of Venezuelan Triumph, and the early trailer is Night Jumper. And the run to the clubhouse turn. Fighter in the win, clear by two and a half. Ribbons and medals is there second, another two and a half to Lorenz, who bides his time third. They're strung out here. Four back to Reed on, who's off the speed in fourth, racing ahead of a headstrong night jumper. And now the trailer is Venezuelan Triumph. The opening quarter, very quick. 23 seconds flat. Irad Ortiz Jr. letting fighter in the wind roll in the early stages here. He's a length in front, and he can't catch a breather because Ribbons and Medals is alongside in second. These two have five on Lorenz, who's a tripped out third from a fourth running Reed on. Then comes Night Jumper, and still at the back is Venezuelan Triumph. The half mile, 46 flat. They're rolling here. Fighter in the wind, taking all kinds of pressure from ribbons and medals on the outside with three-eighths of a mile remaining. Lorenz starts to tighten the gap. He's now third, only four lengths behind. From the outside, Night Jumper giving his head. He's into fourth now, then read on, and Venezuelan triumph. They move to the top of the stretch. Fighter in the wind has been under siege throughout. He still has the lead through three quarters in nine and two. Circling horses is Lorenz. Reed on's coming up the fence. On the far outside, it's Night Jumper, and they're at the top of the stretch. Irad Ortiz Jr. asks Fighter in the wind for something extra. He still has the lead. From the inside, Reed on runs at him. From the outside, it's Lorenz. They come past the eighth pole, and Fighter in the wind, he's responding to all challenges here. Fighter in the wind is a four to five winner. Reed on second, Lorenz third, Night Jumper fourth, and Venezuelan Triumph in 139 and four. The Florida Thoroughbred Breeders and Owners Association invites you to be inspired.
breed in a place like no other. Prepare at world-class training centers. Race in the sunshine. And they're off in the doctor figure. Be inspired. Disastrous start for El Chico Malo, about six lengths slow. Not good starts for Tio Tony or Marvino. It was a good start for the second timer over the surface, who's headed off for the early advantage. Moving to him is Bandero, and Paradise Drive floated a bit deep on that first turn run. Saving ground is Stephen B. Good. Then back to Marvino. He's recovered after the bad break to race five ahead of Tio Tony, and after a terrible start, El Chico Malo was far back. They run around the first turn and go to the opening quarter, and the two favorites get acquainted early. It's over the surface, and Irat Ortiz Jr. narrowly in front. Panici right alongside with the other favorite, Bandero, from second. Stephen B. Good is down at the inside, and racing on the outside is Paradise Drive. Then Marvino racing ahead of Tio Tony, and closer at the back, El Chico Malo. The opening quarter was contested 23-3 and three, as they head to the half-mile point. Bandero now makes a move to take over. Bandero and Panici by a length and a half over the surface is back to second. Paradise Drive is on the outside, and Ruiz works between horses with Stephen B. Good. These top four have opened up on the others, led by Marvino. Down inside Tio Tony and far back to El Chico Malo. Around the far turn they go. Here's Paradise Drive to have a crack at Bandero. Paradise Drive driving forward to put a neck in front. Bandero is there second. Over the surface is tamely backed away. Stephen B. Good is on the outside as they pass the quarter mile mark. On the outside, Paradise Drive has the lead. Trying to fight back is Bandero. Two back to Stephen B. Good, then over the surface. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Anthony Thomas trying to get one more furlong from Paradise Drive. Over the surface is back running again, and down inside it's Bandero. 16 to go. Paradise Drive grimly hanging on. On the outside over the surface at the rail. Bandero, Bandero came back! Bandero came back and beat Paradise Drive who's in a place picture with over the surface. Stephen B. Good is fourth in 142 and two. Not a good break from Bira at the back of the field. It was a good break for Roscoe Village, who's heading off for the early lead, but she has company from Skinny Cosmo, who's down inside and taken back to second. In between horses, it's good bright flames, and three wide goes goats on a tree. Two back to enticing sunset, and Bera, after the slow start, is last of all. They chase the speed of Jose Ortiz and Roscoe Village to the backstretch. She's a length and a half in front. Goats on a tree is now second from a headstrong Skinny Cosmo, is at the rail in third. Followed fourth by Good Bright Flames, who's two better than Enticing Sunset. And Bira is at the back of the field, about eight lengths behind. The quarter time was 23-1. and one. Less than five furlongs to run, and Roscoe Village settling to a nice rhythm on the front. She's a length and a half clear. From the inside, Skinny Cosmos racing together with Goats on a Tree. Racing in fourth is Good Bright Flames. Then back to Enticing Sunset, and Bira has been far back throughout after a slow start. They went to half and 46 and 1 as they swing now to the far turn. Roscoe Village in a bid to make all. She's trying to sneak away from him here. Now she's three furlongs from home and three on top. Goats on a tree set to the tack mode now. Second at the rail. Skinny Cosmo is third. From the back, beer is underway. From between horses, that's enticing sunset through three quarters and ten flat. Jose Ortiz and Roscoe Village still the target, and she has them stretched out behind her. Off the turn and the stretch drive, Roscoe Village trying to put the finishing touches on this one. She's an eighth of a mile out and still well clear. Enticing Sunset battling goats on a tree for second. Beer is up to fourth, but Roscoe Village is a gate-to-wire winner. She never had an anxious moment, and she'll win with style by four lengths. Enticing Sunset was second, third was goats on a tree, and fourth was Beera in race four. 139 flat the final time.
They're off. Walking out of the starting gate was Plali Glata, four lengths last. Good start for last post, who's headed off for the early lead. My Great Illusion has speed. Up on the outside, Rapscallion gets away in the top flight. Away racing in fourth is El Matador. Followed to the turn by Old Flag, the favorite is three wide. Moving out the rail, that's Adchitma. And then in between horses, exclusive dancer, a gap of four to the terrible starting Polyglotta, who's backs against the wall after a bad break. The opening quarter was 23 and 3, and with the advantage, it's still on top. Last, uh, rather, last post is there. Last post a length and a quarter. From the outside, Rapscallion second, El Matador third. My Great Illusion is at the rail in fourth. Exclusive Dancer racing together with Old Flag and proving to the back of the field is Polyglotta. And the trailer now is a Jitma. They make their way to the half mile point. The opening half mile complete, and last post is still the target. They went 47 and 1 for the half mile. Rapscallion latched on to him second. At the rail, My Great Illusion. Is now third. El Matador is there fourth. Old Flag moves up to take fifth. The favorite's about four lengths behind with five sixteens to go. Then Polly Glotta dropping back exclusive dancer as they round the far turn. Rapscallion giving last post all he wants. These two still two better than the others. Led by El Matador, Old Flag, and my great illusion. Polly Glotta's on the far outside. Less than a quarter of a mile to come. It's a top confident looking Tyler Gaffleone on Rapscallion, who turns for home trying to hold off the cavalry. On the far outside, Polly Glotta's erupting with a big late run in between horses El Matador. They come past the eighth pole. Still plenty of hopes here. From between horses El Matador rows forward for the lead. Polly Glotta runs at him on the outside. Old Flag and Rapscallion at the rail. El Matador won it. El Matador beat Rapscallion who was second. Third was Old Flag, then Polly Glotta and My Great Illusion in 140 flat. Level beginning. Soon after the start, it was Undelay who went hunting an early advantage, and Undelay is in front early from Audio Sasher, who's away in second. Trying to hold rail ground as ubiquitous, unsociable, trying to tighten him up. Out in the center goes Jupiter Blues, racing ahead of Gins and Tins. The early trailer is just wave and smile. To the far turn they go. Undelay has the lead. Three parts of length over Audio Sasher in second. Jupiter Blues is a three-wide third, fourth at the rail, ubiquitous. He needs a way through. Up between horses, it's unsociable. Gins and tins get started on the outside, and the trailer is just wave and smile. They run to the top of the stretch at the 5 16th in the middle. Adios Asher comes away with the lead. Gins and tins bidding up boldly now on the far outside. Alongside him is unsociable. Behind a wall of horses is ubiquitous. No place to go there. They straighten for the drive an eighth of a mile out. With the advantage, Adios Asher. Now Haramiel finds a seam for ubiquitous. Does he have a kick? Down the center, here's a late run from unsociable. 16th to go. Adios Asher still there. Jupiter Blues is surging again. Outside unsociable. It's Jupiter Blues at unsociable. It's Jupiter Blues at a huge price and a win picture with Unsociable. Upset in race six at Gulfstream and 103 and three. Running. 
Beautiful beginning for one sharp cookie in the middle of the racetrack who's reaching out for the early advantage. Cajun Fool has speed. Tour Guide moving closer at the rail. These three are quickest from Iris' Dream who comes away in fourth, then Street Earnings, and no speed at all from Dollar Liberty, last of all, as they chase Cajun Fool. Cajun Fool has the lead, moving through his tour guide on to challenge. Settling in in the clear third is one sharp cookie, a length and a half in front of Iris's Dream. Then it's the gray street earnings, and out the back is Dollar Liberty. They went 24 seconds flat for the opening quarter speed. Paired off on the top end, tour guide toward the rail, Cajun Fool on the outside. Tour guide now almost a length in front. Cajun Fool is second, two back to one sharp cookie, who's a patient third. Fourth is Iris's Dream, street earnings is dropping back, and Dollar Liberty has trailed throughout. They make their way by a half in 46 and 2. That was a robust second quarter, and it certainly took the starch out of Cajun Fool, who's called it a day. Tour Guide still the leader. Now here's a move from Iris's Dream, sharply into second for Jorge Ruiz to the outside one sharp cookie. These top three are now well clear of the others, led by Cajun Fool, who's dropping back. Dollar Liberty tries to catch him as they race for home. This favorite one sharp cookie just came under pressure and offered nothing in the tank here. Three quarters, 111 and 3. Edwin Gonzalez and Tour Guide still roll. 13 to 1 on Tour Guide, an eighth of a mile out. On the outside, Iris's Dream, the only one in shouting range. They try and pass the 16th pole. Tour Guide digging in. Iris's Dream not getting by yet, but comes again. Here comes Iris's Dream on the outside. Tour Guide, Iris's Dream. Tour Guide won it. Tour Guide with a tenacious effort. He brings the upset under Edwin Gonzalez. Iris's Dream was second. They were well clear of one sharp cookie third in 138 flat. Pick five. $1 minimum. Player friendly 15% takeout. Coast to Coast Pick Five. Every weekend. Perfect start. Look at this. They're across the course early. In the middle, it's Avellino reaching out for the early advantage, driving through at the rail of Pona's Hope. Up on the outside, it's Brizero away in early third. The pace is lively early. In hand, fourth is Bedrock Birdie. The two at the back, Miguel's Bell, and Unrelentless. To the far turn they go, and it's Opponent's Hope, the speed of the speed, who leads three parts of length. Avellino's on the outside, second, two and a half to Brizero, who's now third. Two more, that's Bedrock Birdie in fourth, still out the back on Relentless and Miguel's Bell. They run to the top of the stretch, less than a quarter of a mile from home. It's Paco Lopez and Epona's Hope with the advantage almost to length now. Getting started three wide, Brizero trying to slide through at the rail. Bedrock birdie, Avellino is next. Far outside, it's unrelentless. Then at the rail, it's Miguel's Bell. There's an eighth of a mile to go. And the leader's Epona's Hope. She's confidently handled with a three-length lead. Closing good ground is Bedrock birdie trying to get to her. Epona's Hope getting tired. Here comes Bedrock birdie on the outside. Photo finish. Bedrock Birdie outside, Opponents Hope inside. Avellino is third in 56 and one. And 
Mariners. Oi. Outside, Yes, I Am Free hits the ground running with full disclosure moving to challenge. High Limit Room comes away in third. The Gray Smoking Jay is at the rail. Working out the center is Run Curtis Run, followed by Prevalence. In the middle, that's When I Get to Heaven with Script alongside. The two lagging behind are Axthelm and the trailer Omaha City. To the far turn they go. It's Yes, I Am Free. Over to the rail on top of length and a quarter. Out wide on the course, Run Curtis Run. In between horses, it's High Limit Room. Back at the inside, full disclosure is back to fourth and under a drive. Looking for room between horses is Smoke and Jay. On his outside is Script. He's underway. Axthelm coming alive from the back as they try to reach Yes, I Am Free. Into the stretch, it's Yes, I Am Free, the target. An eighth of a mile out and two on top. From the inside, full disclosure is still second. Down the center on a late run from Script. At the rail, Smoke and Jay. Axthelm between. Between horses, but yes, I am free. Goes gate two wired. Win by two and a half. Full disclosure was second. Third was Axthelm in 54 and four. And that's a wrap on the nine race Sunday car. We'll take a couple days off and we'll kick off another five day race week with nine of them for you on Wednesday and that traditional 12-10 first post.